Hello everybody, welcome to Aero Ski, your new favorite workout. So, right over here, I've got Fernando over to my right, and I've got Patti over to my left. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to use this new equipment that many of you may have not used before, or many of you, many of you may have already been loving this machine for quite some time. So, we have the option of using with the handlebar. This is a little bit less intense, and it's for a lower skill level as well if you're new to this. And we also have our ski poles, which is a higher level of intensity. If you got a little bit more skill level to this, more experience or more comfort, confidence, go for it. And your third option is always to go hands up, use that core, do whatever you want with your hands while we're doing it. So let's go ahead so we can teach you why this machine is the best one out there. We're gonna go ahead and warm up, hands on the poles, Side to side. So right now we're just doing a moderate intensity. Get that, that body moving, those legs going, that blood flowing, side to side. So remember, you can always bring your hands up. If you haven't tried it yet, feel free to do one hand at a time. You can go ahead and switch arms. Kind of just get the feel for it until you feel comfortable to do both arms off. Whatever you want to do, this is your workout. So let's hit it. From here, we're gonna get nice and low. Legs only in three, two, one, let's go. Pick up that pace. Keep that core tight. Remember, we are always working out that core. Right now, we're just bringing a little bit more lower body than you are already using the second you stepped onto this machine. 15 seconds in, 15 left to go. Get lower, get lower. There you go. For three, two, one, right back up. All right, team, so this right here is what we call active recovery. That means you don't stop moving, you just slow it down, let that heart rate drop a little bit. There we go. So now we're all warmed up. We're ready to go. So let's go ahead and get comfortable with bringing our hands off the machine. Hands off. Bring them out to the side. Arms up, arms down. Just get used to that feeling of not having your arms holding on to anything for support. There we go. So notice that I've slowed down my pace. You should be slowing it down as well. From here, we're gonna go ahead and pump those arms. Elbows nice and high, we're going down and up. Up, down, up, down. Let's hit it, up, down, up, down. Let's go. We're doing 30 seconds. Notice that you wanna go ahead and find your rhythm and hit it. All the way. Final 15. Keep it going, keep it going. For three, we're gonna go halfway here. Two, one, halfway, let's go. A little bit more chest this time. There you go, more chest. Make sure that you're switching your top hand every time. Switch it up, keep it going. From here, we're gonna go all the way up. 10 more seconds and then we're switching it up. Squeeze your core, squeeze those glutes. Three, two, one, let's go, para arriba. All the way up. Let's go. Pump those arms. If you feel like you had to hold on to that pole or that bar, that's fine. Whatever you can do, go for it. It's all about those minor improvements. Final 15. And then we're holding on to our pose in three, two, one. Let's go, hands down, side to side. This is your active recovery. Feel free to stand as tall as you'd like. If you wanna go ahead and bring that intensity higher, you can get a little bit lower. This is up to you. Remember, the great thing about this machine is you can tailor the intensity based on your own movement. You don't have to press any buttons. 
You don't have to do any of that. Just pick up your pace or slow it down. It's up to you. There we go, side to side. And then from here, we're gonna hit some squats. 15 more seconds, and we're going right back to center. Woo! There we go. In five seconds, we're gonna find our balance. Three, two, one. Come to center. Again, hands on your pole, hands on the bar, hands off, whatever you wanna do. We're gonna go ahead and hit some squats. Three, two, one, let's go. All the way down, right back up. Slowly come up. That's gonna give you that extra burn. Three down, seven left to go. Let's go. We're gonna hold that last one. We're halfway there. Last three. Last two. Last one. Hold, hold, hold. Grab onto your poles. Stay low. We're gonna bring those legs side to side. Three, two, one. Hit it. Stay low. Side to side. I like it. Keep it going, keep it going. Woo! Try to keep those poles stationary if you're using it. If you're using the bar, you don't have to worry because it's not moving anyway. Woo! 15 seconds. Final five. Three, two, one. Woo, all the way up. All right, guys, active recovery right here. Slow it down. How are we feeling? You guys doing well? How are you guys doing back at home? Hopefully, you're burning those calories. If you're doing this first thing in the morning, perhaps you're doing it fasted, burning those calories from last night's dinner. Maybe it's in the afternoon during your lunch break. Maybe at night, right before bed. That's the beautiful thing about this piece of equipment right here. You can have it right next to your bed. Do it before or after you hop in or hop out. Up to you. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit more core right now. So we're gonna go ahead and bring those arms up. Crunch the right, pause center, left. Pause center, right, pause center, left. Pause to the center, we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. We're using that core to balance, trying to stay upright. Notice that my knees straighten out when I come to center, and then I'm crunching in, bringing that elbow down. Woo! 10 more reps. Woo! Six. Send those arms all the way up. That's two. One. All right. Side to side. Active recovery. Remember, your active recovery is however you prefer. Whether your hands are on the pole, if you're going out to the side. Let's hit it. Woo. All right, guys, let's go ahead and have some fun with it. We're gonna get nice and low for four, three, two, one, and get high. Four, three, two, one, low. Four, three, two, one, high. Four, three, two, one, get low. Four, three, two, one, high. Four, three, two, one, get low. Four, three, two, one, get high, four, three, two, one, low, 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 slow it down. So it's a little bit of an active recovery with your speed, but we are not coming up. We are burning those quads. All right, 10 seconds, we're bringing it right back up. 
Woo! Final five. Two, one, recover. All right. All right, guys, let's go ahead and bring a little bit more arms to this. So, you feel confident? Just bring your hands off the poles. We're gonna go side to side, just like you would with some hammer curls. All the way up. Perhaps your calves are burning, your quads, that core. Let's bring some arms into this. Keep those elbows low, all the way up, and then we're gonna bring our elbows high. Three, two, one, elbows high. Let's go. Don't drop those elbows. If you got dumbbells at home, feel free to use it. Woo. And we're going up, down, up, down. Let's go. Keep your legs, your arms moving. We are not stopping. Keep it going, keep it going. Woo! We're more than halfway there, guys. Three, two, one. Grab them on. Active recovery. Keep it moving, keep it moving. I just want to break a few things down for you right now. So this is our active recovery right here. This is the most, most basic movement you could do with your machine. Hands on the handle, and you're still going side to side. You're working those obliques. You're working your inner and outer thighs, your glutes, your calves. We're working it all right now with the most basic movement right there, hands on. With the poles, you can get some more movement in there. Engaging your back, your biceps, triceps, everything right there, some shoulders. And if you wanna add more core, like I said, hands off. So keep it going, keep it going. We've got 15 seconds left, and then we're gonna go in for a few sprints. So again, for this sprint, it's all about speed. You choose how low or how high you wanna go. We're going in in three, two, one, let's go. Pick up that pace. Feel free to move those arms. Keep your arms stationary. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. But keep it going quick. Keep that heart rate pumping up. There you go. Pick it up, pick it up. Make sure you're sitting back. Final five, three. Two, one, recover. All right. Keep it going, keep it going. All right, guys, we got about 10 seconds left on that active recovery. We're gonna go ahead and engage some of those obliques. You're gonna go ahead and bring your right arm up, crunch in to the side, up. Side, up, side, let's go. Make sure you're crunching in as well. You're not only dropping that elbow, but your shoulder is dropping as well. That's all oblique, that waistline right there. Woo! Keep it going, keep it going. 10 seconds and then we're gonna switch. Final three, two, one, switch. There you go. Make sure you're crunching to the left. Drop that elbow, drop that shoulder. Let's go. 10 seconds. Keep it going, final five. 
Three, two, one, recover. All right, guys, so one muscle group here that you may not feel as much tension on, maybe the only muscle group you're not feeling right now, would be your hamstrings. So I'm gonna show you how you can engage your hamstrings right now without even stepping off your arrow ski. So you're gonna go ahead and come to center, engage those abs. From here, hands are facing in, we're dropping down for that deadlift. You're gonna feel that stretch along your hamstrings. Come right back up. All the way down. Hold it. Right back up. We're gonna go ahead and do a pulse at the bottom. So come down, pulse for three, two, one. Right back up. Down, three, two, one. Right back up. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Let's go. Down, three, two, one. Right back up. Make sure you're not bending your knees too much. You wanna feel that stretch in your hamstrings. All right, three more reps. Three, two, one. Final two. Three, two, one. Last one. Three, two, one. Recover. All right. Go ahead and ski it out. It's like we're in the Rocky Mountains right now. We're in Colorado on that mountain, except you're in the comfort of your own home right now. Perhaps you're in your bedroom or your living room. You don't even have to leave. You don't have to jump on a plane. You can stay right there at home and zero impact. Let's go, side to side. Pick up the pace. Woo! Again, you control your intensity by controlling that body. Do not let your body control you. Your mind is a lot stronger. Let's go. Get low. Keep it going, keep it going. Sit back. Woo! For three, two, one, come up. All right. Let's go ahead and slow it down, guys. Bring those arms up, down. Catch that breath. Up, down. Let's go. Up, down. Come back to center. Bring that right arm across. Woo. Go ahead and switch arms. Left arm across. Shoulders down and relax. Away from your ears. Hands come to your waist. We're gonna do a good morning, dropping that chest. Just bringing that stretch into your hamstrings. Don't bend those knees. It's not about reaching your toes, but it's about dropping that chest, hinging your hips back. Right back up. Let's go ahead and slowly step off. Inhale those arms one last time. Exhale them down. Clap it out for yourselves, awesome work. Great job, Fernando. Great job, Fati. Great job to all of you. Can't wait to see you guys in our next video.